All right, guys. Well, it is a, I don't know. Fairly pleasant, little bit of a blah day, but finally the humidity is disappearing on the final day of August 2021. That would be Tuesday, August 31st, and I, like a goddamn fool, I am uh, heading back to spend more money <coughs> on this. Uh, let me take now my corn sign since my corn is floating down the river I am heading to uh, spend more money on this garden getting ready this was the uh, <clears throat> flood damage from where the creek ran over the street in that last flood goodbye corn organic veggies great roadside stand ended with all of that corn in the fucking creek and uh so anyway i noticed i put that on and the first two comments were about uh getting arrested for polluting a trout stream uh this is a trout stream and to this day and age uh Good Lord, this is more of that flood damage to this. Right up till now, this is a, officially a trout stream, but the beavers, the, all of this over here is beaver ponds, and the trout fishermen are in this big fight because they say the beaver ponds warm up the water and that the beavers kill the trout and so every time the beavers they're ponded they're, their lodge is back there uh so every time the beavers they they try to build their dam right here well actually oh shit the pond is up they're gonna get dynamited oh i bet the road crew is not aware of this so i'm gonna hear a stick of dynamite go off huh Oh, they're building their dam uh, right now. So anyway, this is perfect time for this round. I, this is brand new. Uh, so, <clears throat> all right. So the beavers have uh, built their new dam here. But they're working on it right now. I see a lot of they're actually building their dam. But what's going to happen is the uh, county road crew is going to come uh, is going to come blow this dam up because they say the beaver ponds undermine the road. Anyway, good luck, beavers. But anyway, <clears throat> so the trout fishermen, you know, want the state or the county or whoever to actually come in here and kill the beavers. And uh, I am all for beavers, so I'm hoping the beavers win this one. Who knows who's right? But anyway, I've told this story before, but it just reminded me. It's just a good, crazy hambone story. And uh, you know, I've been arrested three times. I, I have three arrests on my record. One for harassing wildlife in the Okefenokee swamp, which I deserve. One for scalloping without a diver's down flag. I've already told that story a couple of times uh, about how I was arrested uh, for not having a diver's down flag when I was standing in three feet of water uh, tied by a six foot rope to a 17 foot long canoe. That was a class C misdemeanor in the state of Florida. But the story I'm getting ready to tell, and I think I've told it before, since it's just germane to these comments, uh, this was the very morning that uh, I drowned my uh, little Springer Spaniel puppy rafting down the Umpqua River which is a no one of the word this is so this is how one of the worst days of my entire life started so uh <clears throat> i was with my brother 
my crazy girlfriend and her kid brother. It was the four of us camping, so we were camping along the banks of the Umpqua River outside of, uh, is it Roseville or Rosewood, Oregon, on the Umpqua River. So we get there on Saturday afternoon to this beautiful campsite that is totally fucking trashed out with litter and garbage. I mean, dirty fucking diapers, beer cans everywhere. We, we get there, we spend about an hour cleaning up this fucking campsite of all of this goddamn garbage, and, you know, bagging up all of this fucking litter, getting all of this shit out of the, uh, out of the goddamn river and making it a, you know, cleaning it up, making it a nice campsite for us. And uh, so a, it's a beautiful evening. So <coughs> where I uh, got the firewood, there was a beaver dam going, you know, in the river. Uh, <coughs> just not going all the way across the Umpqua River, but, but, you know, in a little side channel. So the beavers had made me this nice <clears throat> pile of firewood. You know, beaver dams make great firewood. So what I did is I, you know, I waded out and I got a couple of armloads of this uh, dead wood off of a this beaver dam. And, and I mean, we were down on the bank. I mean, not in sight of another road just 100% privacy. So go out there, I gather up the beaver wood. I'm, I'm talking, now you got to understand that where a little backstory in the Umpqua National Forest in, uh, in Oregon, any of you who are familiar with this, you know, where they do massive amounts of clear cutting, where these giant uh, logging companies come in there and take out, you know, on our public forest, in the national forest, in the Umpqua, I guess it's called the Umpqua National Forest, uh, you know, where these giant fucking logging companies like Warehouse are coming there and, and, you know, destroy thousands of acres of our public lands, uh, just polluting the fucking rivers, I mean, wreaking absolute fucking havoc while all the rednecks in, in Oregon, you know, cheering on this rape and pillage. So that's where we were, was in the middle uh, of, of this. Uh, so we were down in the, the, the river valley and, uh, you know, camping right by the river. So anyway, so I, I gather up this armful of sticks off the beaver dam and we make our campfire out of it. So we have a nice campfire. So the next morning, get up and uh, make, you know, I still had some of this wood left, uh, you know, from the night before. So I start the fire. Uh, we make a very nice breakfast there on our little beach. And so we're packing up to go. And so there was the, you know, the, these little scraps of unburnt firewood. So my two choices, you know, I, I, you know, you always want to put your campfire out, obviously. And this was, this was in 1991. I, I think this was 30 years ago. So anyway, um, my choice was, you know, to, to go back and forth with pans of water, dumping it on the fire. So what I did was, you know, we were probably like 10 or 12 feet from the banks of the river. So like I always do, like I have been doing, uh, you know, since I was probably six years old, whenever I'm camping beside a river and have these little, you know what I'm talking about, these little six or seven inch pieces of unburnt firewood from around the ed edges of the fire, I tossed them into the river. So we're sitting out here in this secluded campsite out in the middle of fucking nowhere, no other human in sight, uh, 
just not thinking there is a, a fucking human within two miles of us and I throw these little scraps of uh, charred firewood back into the very same waterway that I pulled them out of. Okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking natural beaver wood that the beavers had gnawed down. Uh, that is what I saw. So I, I throw, I don't know, probably seven or eight of these little uh, charred stick ends into the river and we're packing up the truck to head out rafting so I could go kill my damn puppy and uh, this fucking cop pulls up into the campsite out of fucking nowhere this fucking cop uh, gets uh, out of his goddamn car it wasn't, a, it wasn't a park ranger it was not a national forest ranger it was a fucking uh, uh, I guess that's Douglas County. That was a Douglas County, uh, Oregon sheriff. Pulls up, uh, and starts demanding to see my fucking, uh, ID and whatever. And I'm like, what in the fuck? I, I, I mean, exactly what are we doing? And he, uh, and he starts writing me up. And the charge is polluting a trout stream that I was being charged for polluting a trout stream. Uh, and so I, I have no fucking idea where this dude was standing while he was watching me pollute this trout stream uh, out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And you know, I showed the guy, you know, in the truck, I, I showed him the, 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 the garbage bags that we had picked up, how we had cleaned up the fucking campsite, how we'd pulled the goddamn dirty diapers and the beer cans and the usual flotsam and jetsam out of the river. How I, I showed him the fucking beaver dam where I got the sticks. You could still see the fucking sticks. I mean, they were just kind of, you know, he could clearly see uh, what I had thrown in, I, I showed him the, the, you know, the goddamn, uh, uh, campfire ring, uh, so he writes me fuck it up, and I fucking go to court saying, okay, uh, I'm, I'm sure the judge, uh, here, I actually believed that I was going to explain to the judge, uh, what happened. And of course, you know, similar to, to, the, to the fucking uh, diver's down flag, uh, the judge had zero interest in what I was throwing. There, there was one question that judge wanted to know. Mr. Mitchell, did you or did you not throw anything into the Umpqua River on such and such a date? That's all he wanted. Yes or no? This is a yes or no question. I don't want to hear your fucking story. Yes or no? Did you or did you not throw something into the Umpqua River? 181 dollars. 181 dollars was the fine for polluting a trout stream. That was 30 years ago, and uh, so far I have not been arrested since then. Now, of course, if some of this criminal corn comes washing up in the middle of Candor, New York, uh, they probably know where it came from. <clears throat> anyway, so wish me luck. We will see if it gets hung up at the at the brand new beaver dam, and hopefully the beavers will enjoy that corn because no human will. Anyway, just another another little slice of the criminal justice system in America.
get out there and enjoy your criminal justice system while you still can. Bye, guys.